and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Men at Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Guard up. Hit now forward. Good, good. But watch out for this. <laughs> that sure was quick. Get your sword. I'll teach it to you. If I haven't tired you out. Not yet. It's so hard. The sorceress wants to see us. Then I guess practice is over. <laughs> Sorceress, we're here. Welcome, Prince Adam. I have a message for you. Or rather, for He-Man. A message? From whom? I think you'll remember him. Granamir. Sorceress, tell He-Man that I wish to speak with him in dark smoke as soon as possible. Oh, that's the dragon who helped save me from Skeletor's evil spell. Oh, he's something. There's not another like him. But I wonder why he wants to see He-Man. I don't know. But an invitation from the oldest and wisest of the dragons of Darksmoke is a great honor. Then I better get moving. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> I'd like to come along. I never did get the chance to thank Branamir personally. That's why I summoned you as well. And I can use the company. It's a long way to Dark Smoke. Long way is right. We've been flying for hours. Branamir likes his privacy, but we should see it any minute now. In fact, there it is. Dark Smoke. Come on. Welcome, He-Man. By the ancients. I thank you for accepting my invitation. But I did not invite you. This is my friend, Man-at-Arms, the one you saved when we first met. He wanted to thank you in person. Poor excuse for bad manners. Well, I didn't mean to be rude. Please accept my apology and my thanks. <laughs> At least you speak with respect. I wouldn't speak any other way to one as grand as you. You show good sense for a human. You may stay. Thank you again. And now, the, the reason for my invitation. <laughs> Well, come on, come on, this is the one we've been waiting for. My champion? Champion? This is Tor, the youngest dragon of Darksmoke. He is in love with a female of your kind. 
Her name is Lyra. She is the loveliest and sweetest being I have ever known. She is small and foolish like all humans. But love blinds even dragons at times. A dragon in love with a human? Amazing. On the day of their wedding, Tom shall undergo the great spell of changing and become human as well. He will never again know the joy of flying freely or the power of dragon kind. And he will live not thousands of years, but only the pitiful view of a human. It is something few men would do for the love of a woman. But what does this have to do with me? My Lyra's father is a wizard and demands a test of anyone wishing to marry his daughter. By our dragon's codes, Tom may not become human until the girl has pledged herself to him. But the wizard will allow a human champion to take the test in his place. And you want me to be that champion? You are the only human we dragons can call friend. But the choice is yours. But what if I fail this test? But you mustn't, you mustn't. If you fail, my ears will ring for the next thousand years with the moans of this lovesick hatchling. It is a thought that frightens even me. Well, then I'll do my best. I expect no more, and no less. The wizard will be expecting you. Thank you. Don't worry, Torm. I'll have your bride here before you know it. It will be so wonderful. A dragon in love. The world will never be the same. Farewell, He-Man. Accept this. Lyra should be my bride, not the wife of a monster. Tom is no monster. He's a gentle spirit. And I love him. And I would not marry you in any case. My daughter has made herself clear on this matter, Zem. Go in peace and trouble us no more. This beast has bewitched you both. Guard your tongue, Zem, or... Great Brindel, the dragon's champion, has arrived. Show him in at once. As for you, them, leave my house now and never return. Old man, you have not heard the last of this. Out of my way, Oaf. Not very polite, is he? Pay him no mind, He-Man. He wants to marry my daughter, but she won't have him. You know me? There are few on Eternia who do not. <laughs> Torm has chosen his champion well. Oh, He-Man, thank you for helping us. Now I know Tom and I will be married. He must still pass the test, Lyra. But he will. I know he will. Oh, Father, I'm so happy. She seems to love Tom as much as he loves her. We will hold the test first thing in the morning. But tonight, you must be my guests. It will be our pleasure. I'll show that old fool, Brindle. Braylock, demon of the night, I call upon you. What is your wish? In that tower room sleeps He-Man and his friend. I want you to enter it and take He-Man to your dark land. It will be done. So fast, demon. Thanks. Save it. That thing's not through yet. Oh. 
Mortal fools! Let's get him! Where did he go? I can't move! And now to my world! To your world indeed, demon! But you'll go alone! Ugh, it was close. Too close. Are you all right? Thanks to you. What was that creature? A demon of night. Had I not stopped him, you would have been slaves in this dark world forever. But who sent it? Mm, must have been Zem, that jealous fool. We better be on guard from now on. Don't trouble yourselves. So Brindle casts a spell of protection. It can only mean my demon has failed. But tomorrow I will succeed and E-Man will be finished. Are you ready to begin the test, E-Man? Yes. Then listen carefully. Somewhere in my maze stands the tree of many fruits. On that tree grows a single silver apple. You must find the tree and get the apple. Bring it to me and my daughter will be free to marry your dragon friend. Now that you know what's to be done, enter and good luck. Just a minute, Brindle. That Zem character might try to interfere. Once He-Man enters, no one else will be able to follow. My magic will see to that. That's what you think, Brindle. It's done. Now it's all up to He-Man. Oh, what's happening, Grenimir? He-Man has begun the test. Hmm. There's something funny about this. If this is really fire, why aren't those hedges burning? No heat. Which means this is only an illusion. Can I help you, stranger? I'm looking for the tree of many fruits. Why do you seek the tree? To get the silver apple. Then your quest is ended. Behold. But Brindle said the apple would be on the tree. Perhaps he lied. Or don't you believe what you see? As a matter of fact, I don't. Done, champion. The true prize awaits you there. The tree. I want that silver apple. Will you fight me for it? I'd prefer to do it some other way. Your strength must be tested. But if you can think of another way to do so... This should do it. Catch! Ah, a tug of war! An excellent idea! Whenever you're ready. Then let's begin! You are no weakling, champion. You're not so bad yourself, but I need that. Are you all right? A most refreshing bath. <laughs> the silver apple is yours, champion. But it won't be yours for long. I'll take that. 
Zim, stop. Oh, no. I must have taken a wrong turn. This maze is tricky, isn't it? I believe that apple is mine. We'll see about that. Stay away. Just give me the apple and I won't tell Brindle what you did. If you promise not to cause any more trouble. I promise. Good. And now I've got to go. I promise you'll be sorry for this, He-Man. Anybody want to go to a wedding? Oh, He-Man, you've done it. So they think I'm finished. Well, they'll see. You've done well, He-Man. And now you must all leave so that I may begin the great spell of changing. Legends say, Forces of Darkness, hear my plea! Revive the ancient enemy of the dragons of Dark Smoke! Shadow Wing, hear me! It's I who freed you, and I ask you a favor! Human insect, prepare to meet your doom! Wait! I want you to destroy Dark Smoke and its dragons, and I'll help. Dark Smoke? It still stands? Yes, if you want revenge on the dragons for imprisoning you. Enough! I shall destroy Dark Smoke as you wish, though I am afraid you will not be there to see it. <laughs> What's that? Vladimir, I have returned for you. Shadow Wing. Evil Worm. Better stop that evil dragon. You big human, you dare attack me! He got my engine. Only one chance. To time this just right. Just one more second. He Man, are you all right? Did I do it? Do what? That. It cannot be. Now, wretched worm, feel the wrath of Granamir. And now, shadowing, to the realm of demons where you belong. Ancient, I've never seen such power. Like I once told you, he's uh, one of a kind. <laughs> and so, by the great laws of dragon and man, I now declare you husband and wife. Congratulations. I know you two will be happy. 
I guess we'll be going, Granamir. Once again, you proved to me that there may be some hope for humans yet. For that, I thank you. You're quite welcome. And if you should ever need me again, I shall call. Farewell, hero of Italia. Farewell, oldest and wisest of dragons. You know, this is something I'll never forget. Neither will I, old friend. Neither will I. Helping his dragon friend sure kept He-Man busy today. And Brindle's tests were pretty tough. In one of those tests, to prove his courage, he was challenged to a fight. But He-Man wouldn't fight. The fact is, fighting never proves anything. Trying to find a peaceful way to settle a problem is usually the best way. And if someone calls you a coward or a chicken, don't let it worry you. It often takes more courage not to fight. Until later, bye now.